Hello everyone and welcome back. It's nice to see everyone again. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Aries for the week of August 1st through the 7th of 2022. Wow. And I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up, subscribed, and left a comment. You, I'm very grateful. Thank you for doing that, especially the subscribers. It means you're going to come back every week and listen to my channel. Thank you. All right, and your first card out is that five of cups so feeling a little remorse a little sad over uh, something you've let go in the past and the six of swords so maybe you're thinking of making a move here to uh, different shores so to speak um, maybe you've had enough of where you are Moving on, maybe it's a better job that you've decided to take up. Something uh, that you've been thinking about doing for a while here. You know, on to brighter shores. And the tempters. So, well, with her in there, mixing of elements, things coming together. Um, you're now feeling a little more yourself this week. Things are starting to blend together for you in your life. A little more harmony, a little more peace of mind. Um, you can see both sides of the situation now. And the King of Pentacles. So an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Now, this could be somebody in your life, your other half, a relative, friend, uh, a co-worker, in fact, for, you know, somebody that you look up to. They're very knowledgeable. They have uh, a lot of good skills in life. They make very good investments. Maybe you're talking to them about um, your future. Could be a boss could be an investor and judgment all right that's not bad you know you've put off making a decision which I think was all that moving aspect anyhow maybe like I said it could have been a job that you a dead-end job for yourself or and you've decided now you're going to move on because it's time And the Queen of Rods. So that could be yourself or somebody you know. A friend, a relative. And that's another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But usually when that comes in to play in your reading, when you show up in your own reading, it's usually just sending the message home that you're on the right track. Things are moving forward for you. Because the Queen of Rods, she's very decisive. She likes things organized. She's a very good manager. Um, pursues things when she decides to make up her mind to do it. No matter what anybody says, she goes for it. And this could be you yourself. And the Page of Cups. So good news coming in. Some sort of invita invitation. Uh, something that you're thrilled about. Uh, this could be an invitation to go to a um, graduation, a wedding, an anniversary, a retirement party, or maybe this is uh, for yourself. You're sending out invitations and you're quite excited about to see friends and people you haven't talked to for a while. And the four of rods. So very good foundation, solid. You know, things are starting to come together for you. You're quite, you know... Something that you've wanted for a while. You've set, you've set things in motion a long time ago. And 
and now it's starting to show for you. Wow. And the Ten of Cups. So how wonderful is that? So you have really got some nice cards coming in here. You've put something into motion for yourself. You know, so that you can move forward here with your endeavors. You're starting off, you have an excellent foundation. Some sort of, you know, wish coming in for you here with the Ten of Cups. Something that you've uh, developed over time. Now that could be friendships, families, relationships, you know, uh, things are really starting to move along for you here. Maybe you've actually met somebody who's uh, going to be the real deal for you that you can, you know, look forward to putting some roots down with and moving forward. <laughs> and the lovers. So I'm thinking this is a relationship. Maybe you've been, you know thinking of getting together with this person for quite a while and things have now um, come to light that you're quite content with. Um, you know, you maybe you've been seeing them or talking to them and whatever for quite a while and now you've decided that it's time to, you know, move this forward. And uh, yeah. And for others, it could be that you're thinking of moving forward in a career as well. And something that you're very passionate about, something that talks to you that you're, you know, you, you're more than welcome to get up in the morning and, and you're happy to do it, which is wonderful when that happens. And the Page of Swords. So swift news coming in. Some sort of clarity, you know, something got... You know, a little, maybe so, something got blown out of proportion a little bit and you're, you know, going to nip it and uh, deal with it because you don't want it to uh, go wrong, you know. And the High Priestess. So most definitely something coming into your life, some sort of clarity, stability. Um, you're looking forward to you know, moving forward with this. She's very clear, um, orientated, very decisive. She knows a lot about all kinds of things. Now that could be a he or a she. Somebody that you uh, can sit down and have a heart to heart with and know that they're not judging you. They're actually listening and giving you some sort of good advice. And the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, that's a very nice card to get. That's usually a wish come true of some sort, some sort of material gain. Um, tangible results of, of your efforts coming back to you finally, which is always nice to be on the receiving end of that. And the Ace of Swords. So you have a lot of clarity cards here, you know, you're starting to see what what it is that you want in your life and you're not afraid to uh, go for it you're just going to cut through the all the things in the air and deal with whatever it is that you have to deal with you know you're going to be fair about it and the ten of swords so yeah you felt some sort of betrayal maybe you've uh, talked to somebody in confidence and they've let you down or spill the beans about what it was you were thinking of doing or talking to them about, which is never a fun thing to do. You know, it's whatever it is, it's, you know, if it's a relationship, it's definitely done. If it's a job, again, I think it's uh, definitely done here. And you're going to pick up yourself. You know what you need to do now. You're going to, you know, deal with it head on so that you can move forward in your life so that's wonderful to see i know it's not pleasant to happen but it is good to see that you know you're moving forward you've you've set your foundation you have all your ducks in a row um, you have more than what you need and you're going forward you're very clear on your decisions and that's the wheel of fortune so definitely moving forward it's uh, something, you've, like I said, you've put a lot of work into. Now, whether this is a relationship, 
or a job or a creation of yours that, uh, you know, something that's going to bring you money in the future as well. You know, money, love, uh, a good career coming in for you, something you've put a lot of work and effort into. It's finally starting to uh, take root and people are starting to notice. But, you know, it's uh, you're going forward in a right note. Now, if this is a relationship, you're definitely, you know, you're going to clear the air. You're going to lay the ground rules of what's accepted and not accepted. And uh, you're going to see how it goes from there. I mean, you're all in and you're going to you're going to say what are, what's on your mind, which is good. And if it's a job, you're going to, uh, you know, again, say your mind. Say your piece and, you know, talk to who who let you down and clear the air so that you feel good about yourself and you know you've done the right thing for yourself and you're moving forward. Like, it's, it's a very wonderful card to get at the end. You know, the Wheel of Fortune means you're moving on, you're picking up, things are moving forward. Like, there's no stopping you, which is always nice to see. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an Angel Oracle card and see what kind of energy they can bring to this reading for you this week. But it looks very positive. You know, you're making your decisions. You're getting an invitation to go out somewhere, do something that you've wanted to do anyhow. So you're quite uh, thrilled about that. You know, and you're on solid ground. And moving forward. Uh, things are coming your way. You know, it's a big break that you've always wanted. It's coming in for you. And wish fulfillment. All right. And the card says, you are flying high right now. Which may threaten others. But don't descend. Because others will soon be, become inspired by your experience, by your examples. And that's true. And hopefully you can see that card. All right, Aries, it looks like it's going to turn out to be quite a decision week for you. But it's going to wind up being everything that you hoped it was going to be. All right, Aries, I will say bye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.